I'm Julie from the Australian Reptile Park. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys today is how we milk our Sydney funnel webs. So these particular funnel webs here are your Atrax Robustus, which is your Sydney funnel web form. And the particular ones that we're milking today are the males. So we do have both male and female funnel webs here at the park. And what we have them here for is just solely for um, to produce uh, the, the venom, the raw, raw venom materials to send them to the CSL, which is the Common Moss Serum Laboratories down in Melbourne. So the Sydney male funnel web is one of the most dangerous and lethal spiders in the entire world. And there's a few main reasons why they are, you know, the most dangerous. Um, and one of the main ones is actually their, one of their behaviours is the reason why we come into contact so much with the males is that once they reach maturity, they need to go out and find a female. So that means they're out and about every night looking for the girls and that's when they can come into contact with our homes because once the sun starts rising, they need to find somewhere to hide. So that's when they enter our homes, end up in our shoes, you know, under our beds, under towels and things like that because they're just trying to find somewhere to hide. So uh, there's been 13 recorded deaths uh, from the, the funnel web. Um, none really since um, the, the antivenom was produced. So the, here at the Australian Reptile Park, we're the ones who uh, pioneered uh, the milking process of the funnel web. And then what we did was send the raw materials down to the Commonwealth Serum Laboratories in Melbourne. And they're the ones who come up with the process of making antivenom. Okay, we're about to milk this male right at the minute. So basically what we do is we open a lid and most of the time that spooks the spider and luckily for us they have this pretty impressive behaviour of rearing up to expose their fangs and secondly the thing that they do is they'll actually form beads of, of venom on the tips of the veins. That's when we come along and what this is is basically um, like kind of like a vacuum cleaner it's just got suction and we come in and we suck the venom off the tips of the fangs. Every individual spider is different, as you can see. This one here is opting not to give us any venom. So if you're one of the unfortunate ones who actually gets bitten by a funnel web, um, certain signs and symptoms um, can be anywhere from nausea, vomiting, uh, very, very painful around the bite site. Um, you could start uh, salivating profusely, things like that, get body aches. Um, if you start feeling things like that, obviously you want to try and uh, attempt to do a first aid. So the first aid treatment for your funnel web bite uh, is your compression bandage. Right? So if you're bitten on the hand, you would want to start wrapping up your hand. Of course, take off your jewellery and any other restricting items on, on that limb because you may get a bit of a swelling. So take those off, start wrapping up around the bite site, then start wrapping and, and head down towards the very tip of the limb. So if it was your arm or your hand, wrap up towards the, the tips of your fingers and then overlap that and wrap up, wrap up the back way and head up towards your shoulder. So you wrap up the whole limb, then you would want to try and immobilize the limb so you can use a splint. You can tie your arm to your body or wrap a splint up with another bandage and um, try and stay calm, get someone else to do all the work for you and drive you down to the hospital just so you can try and receive your anti-venom treatment if you need it.